the day after I had my first sexual experience, and I saw the letters, and I saw that was the most amazing letter combination ever. Like an S in the beginning, an A is beautiful. A B in the middle, which makes it symmetrical, coming back into itself. The E to ba balance out the A, and then the R to kick it off. It's just like the sickest letter combination yet, I think, personally. And so I'm walking with her, holding her hand, crossing the street. She gets hit by a car, gets smashed, was lying on the center divider, leaking out of her head. And simultaneously, I'm looking across the street, and the kid who gave me my name was getting jumped by these serious gangsters. Basically, the two worlds of, of women and graffiti were just unfolding to me in this like hellish turmoil tornado of like, holy shit, this is what I'm in for the next, you know, the rest of my life. When I would tattoo him, he would uh, he would come and just he would just unload on me this whole pent up ration of shit. It's just like fever of, of saber. <laughs> My whole family are artists, and both my parents graduated Art Center, so I grew up at Art Center and seeing hyper design, seeing car design. I freestyled everything. I had a general plan, but, uh, you know, nothing too specific. Started getting the blue tape out and just started uh, taping out shapes. This is too hard, so I gotta make it softer. He drew every day since he was two years old. It was almost something he had to do because when he didn't, he actually became very irritable. I didn't have any brothers or sisters to beat me up. I spent a lot of time by myself. I remember getting in fights and kids in first grade over who was the best artist in class. I was the only kid that was willing to fight, so. <laughs> I'll even show you how bad of a toy I was. This is my first piece. 13 or 14 is when he started to change. A skateboard can't exist without a cityscape. So I used to take the bus down to Wilshire, you know, just to get away from the suburbs because I hated it so much out there. And then I started to see this little black book he would carry around, and I would ask to see it, and it was, he was practicing his tagging. I've been known not to be the greatest tagger, but... Eclipse definitely has one of the best hands, for sure. He's, you know, the originator of our crew, and Eclipse plays a really important role in all, all of our lives since we were very young. He got involved with some kids that came from a whole different background, and somehow he identified with that. It was important to be part of AWR because uh, it helped build, you know, Los Angeles styles, and uh, basically they were my mentors. One time I went to drive his car and it was so bad. How could you get 32,000 miles on a car that's less than a year old? He would take 30, 40 mile runs several times a night from where we lived in Ventura area, clear to LA, to Orange County and back again. And in his trunk was solid spray cans. The most, the brightest, brightest red. And fever red's more like a watermelon color. Intense red's like banner red, light red. You know, I don't know. This is uh, Montana, Spain's distribution warehouse for all of North America. The spray paint specifically for graffiti, aerosol art. I gotta stop saying that. We're not condoning graph. We're not directly putting these cans in kids' hands and saying, go out and crush stuff. 99% of the customers are graffiti artists. When this paint first started hitting the streets in America, everyone was like, that shit is way too expensive. It's never available in stores where you can shoplift it. Now, the quality of the paint is so high, people have given up shoplifting. Where they shoplift other stuff they can sell so they can buy Montana. The pocket cans, you go to clubs and you get patted down, I can always get these things in. And then you can take another step further with these little things. Poltergeist, it glows in the dark. Um, and this stuff, it's just paint remover. This is a must have as far as I'm concerned because I've ruined so many jackets and shoes. I definitely think I've been affected by the uh, solvents over the last 20 years of my life. I've actually gone to some doctors about it. I'm like, yeah, I paint graffiti. I've been doing it since I was a teenager. I'm in my 30s, and I've emptied a lot of paint cans, and seriously, a lot of paint, and they're all like, oh, don't worry about it. It's okay, and I'm like, 
Well, I've heard rumors that it like affects like your bladder and like your nervous system and stuff. And they're like, I don't think you could really breathe in that much. And I'm like, no, I don't think you understand. The place is probably half full. There's probably about maybe 40,000 cans of paint in here right now. Knowing that people go through that many caps in like two weeks is like, that is a lot of vandalism. Like, holy shit. You guys got to send us a bunch of pistachio next time. Have ever felt guilty? Um, um, I don't think so. No, there's graffiti in the world. I'm not the only guy that's going to write graffiti. I'm not going to stop writing graffiti because there's a guy that has to clean it up. I hate to sound like a stupid teenager, but that's his job. I'm helping him out. Like, if there were people writing graffiti, they wouldn't need this guy, you know? I'd care less. Everybody feels sorry for somebody. I have a job, too. <coughs> people have written graffiti on my store before. And I'm like, OK, you know what? That's OK. You know, like, I can't control that. I'm not going to get all Christian fundamentalist about it, you know? Like, oh, my god, your morals and your judge. You know, I mean, come on. It's just let it go, dude. I hate religion, I hate fundamentalists of any sort, and I don't believe in a, a fucking snake in a tree. I'm not stupid. The Bible it carries a message, so take it literally, it misses the entire point. And that same very message can be found without any knowledge of religion at all. Like, people will be good back to you if you're just good to people, like, you know, if you're honest. Like, those are things that people realize, you know, without religion having to tell you and make you feel guilty about shit, that shit is whack. Yeah. Oh, all gone? No. Shut up. Uni paint doesn't make the blood paint mark. Yeah. Oh yeah. You don't need to be fucking David Copperfield, fucking David Blaine to get a couple of markers out of a store. But it helps in tight situations, you know? I shoplifted since I was like what, five, six. It's like a game. You go in the store, you G them up, like, hey, what's going on? You got that customer uh, shopkeep thing going on, and they have no idea that you're stealing. No idea. Or they know you're stealing. They've seen you in their mad times, and, and, and they still can't fucking stop me because I'm so nice. Me and him are like dead opposites. I think of consequences that aren't even there. And with him, it's just, you know, I. I feel like getting a CD player, or I feel like getting this or getting that or whatever, and he'll just go out and do it. There's mad things that I will not pay for, will not pay for. I will not pay for any type of Gore-Tex jacket. I will not pay for any type of like meat, like chicken cutlets, steaks, won't pay for that. Definitely racking that. I've spent money on shit before, you know what I'm saying? And then felt like really stupid about it, like, yo, I could have racked that shit. How do I feel about it? It got me through high school. These markers suck. What a waste of my time. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm not going to be that happy about it. The city and county pay $250 million a year, our tax dollars, to people that to, to work with gangs and paint out graffiti. So why is our entire city filled with gangs and graffiti except for where I am? They don't understand proactive and reactive, and that's the problem with the city's program. They wait for someone to call and say, oh, there's some graffiti at the corner of Fairfax and Pico. Come paint the graffiti down. They should have somebody calling them. They should already be there. There used to be thousands of pieces of graffiti down here. Everything down